<coughs> okay. are new here hello how you doing i'm andrea this is parker and this is my lovely mother hi everyone what's your name you mimi and if you already been here you already subscribed thank you so much and if you have not hit that subscribe button like and comment on this video well i guess you can't comment yet but when you feel like comment give me a comment and let me know what you think about the video today yes. we are doing what we doing we doing braids in my hair and I don't know what we're doing in yours. Well, you know, we're doing the whole conditioner oh, yeah. treatment stuff. Yeah. Mommy and me edition. We look at this. <laughs> Three generations of Three generations. beautiful back purses. How you doing? <laughs> um, so we are doing so as y'all know, um postpartum. Mimi baby. <laughs> Postpartum, I lost your girl. Your girl lost her edges. She lost her edges. She did. Number one thing to not forget once you have your baby is continue to take your prenatal vitamins, especially, especially, especially if you intend on breastfeeding your baby, the hormonal things that are going all over the place. Um, you definitely still need that folate in your body to continue to produce healthy hormones and not lose your follicles and lose your edges. Okay, <laughs> so today we are going to do, um, we're going to do a wash. So Mimi's going to take down my hair work and we're going to, this is a sew in that I just did real quick or whatever. And we're going to do a, um, wash with. Um, Shea Moisture, Jamaican Castor Oil, and then we also have rice water, um, and we also have aloe vera, and we also have castor oil. So I'm going to roll that beautiful bean footage of everything we're going to be using today so you can go grab yours and possibly even do this treatment with us. So this is the start of Team Royal Edges back. Royal Edges back. Mimi got her edges. I got some. You got most of them. Yeah. I got... I overplucked my lace front. Oh, is that what it was? Well, I thought you said that um, your hormones did something or another. I think that's what it was. I, I mean, think so too, though. Yeah, from because I don't. I feel like maybe if you formula feed your baby, your hormones can kind of go back to to in place sooner. Right. But with breastfeeding, I am it's just. Sucking the life out of me. <laughs> I'm baby food. That's pretty you much it. Have very strong, healthy, yes. healthy, healthy head of hair. I have never. Yeah. I, I have always had full, thick hair. I've never had a problem with hair loss. And I remember when I was pregnant, my hair didn't come out. I remember telling my mom, like, my hair is not it coming grew. out. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Yeah, I used to have a blonde fade, y'all. I was a. Uh, yeah, I was, I, that, that was just my 20s. It was just what it was. It was just who I was. I was just modeling. <laughs> and I just decided once I had my baby to go ahead and grow my hair out. And, um, yeah, it just, it just had failed out after I had the baby. Maybe like two months after having the baby. Mm -hmm. I took down a sew-in and I thought my niece had cut my hair. I was like, girl, you cut my hair. And then I just kept feeling it, kept doing it. And I saw the little white follicle on there. And boom shakalaka, I was bald headed. <laughs> so, nonetheless, so she's gonna take out my hair and we're gonna come back when we are ready to start this process. So, stay tuned, hit that thumbs up, hit that notification bell. You know where it's at. Look at you, okay? Okay, <laughs> sit down. Um, so, yeah, go ahead and hit that notification bell so y'all know when I upload videos because we're gonna keep dropping them, dropping them, dropping them because y'all saw it showing. So much love and support. Yes. I appreciate it. I like y'all are the real MVS. Y'all already know the vibes. So subscribe to the tribe. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Here's everything that we use for our hair treatment today. I did get the Shea Moisture Black Castor Oil Shampoo from the Beauty Supply, as well as most of the other things besides the cactus I got from the grocery store. Um, we use the Sunny Owl Jamaican Black Castor Oil and Extra Dark. 
And the aloe vera plants I did get from our local Asian market called 99 Ranch Market. I'm not sure where you can find whole aloe vera, but check your Asian markets. And then I got this cute little Edge Booster Continuous Misting Spray from the Beauty Supply that I use for the rice water. So you're going to need to ferment your rice water for at least one week. Some people say a day, but whatever. And then you want to scent it with um, like an essential oil because once it ferments, it has like a pickly smell. So you want to use one cup of rice to two cups of water. And you want to let it sit anywhere from a day to a week to two weeks. Um, it doesn't really, it spoils, but in a good way. So I went ahead and already made my rice water two weeks ago, but I'm going to do this for you guys and so that I'll have some in the future. So like I said, you put two cups of water per one cup of rice. And you shake it all up and move it all about. Yeah, and don't forget to add. So I've see, even seen some people add like an orange peel or some type of citrus to kind of mask that pickly smell. But I just had lavender essential oil. So I just used that. Um, and it came out smelling really good actually. So just want to make sure my lid was not tight. Shake it up and then just sit it in the corner and let it do its magic. All right, y'all. So my mom just finished taking my hair down, my braids down. So this is my hair. This is maybe like a year now of me growing my hair um, from a fade. And my hair is still shedding. I know y'all probably can't see this, but here's a bald spot right here <laughs> um but yeah so we're about to wash my hair with the black castor oil and castor oil shampoo and then i'm gonna wash my Is mom's it? hair yep what's that lady from wheel of fortune vanna white oh vanna white <laughs> i'm sorry there it is those captions <laughs> Thank you, Vanna. Um, so yeah, we're about to wash our hair and then we're gonna hop into the next step. You still got a real nice, healthy head of hair. Very strong. Very strong. Well, you know, you're going to lose hair daily. You know that. And what you saw as far as the bulb at the end of the hair, you know, as long as you're not seeing big wads coming out your head like that, then you know you still good it's, it's just whatever it is that's going on you chemically or you know the imbalance in your hormonal imbalance from having a baby because it took with each uh pregnancy it's different some women don't go through any of that they may go through other things like depression and you know weight loss where they just constantly losing weight or they gaining weight because they're just eating so it just depends but I don't see no significant loss of hair for you to really be concerned about except for you know yeah you had those uh, okay, wait, spots. So it just kind of saturated don't be looking for the bald spots no I'm looking at your thick head of hair I love it I absolutely love it. Wish it was mine. Baldy Murphy. God, girl. So this, uh, so the rice water has a lot of uh, protein in it. And I let mine sit for two weeks because I forgot about it. So it's very potent. So I'm only gonna leave it in for like five minutes. Cause it's just a, a rinse, not like a conditioner. Oh, uh, you can hold it. Oh. Oh, what you say? Mm -hmm. Okay. And it smells like lavender pickle juice. 
-hmm. because and this is just rice and water uh -huh. and but it ferments when you leave it in the water it ferments which is kind of like spoils but, oh, okay. but the it does like i guess the fermentation does something chemically to the water like where it pulls out rice protein which is which is uh good for your hair like it i guess it matches the the now i'm guessing on this but it's similar to the protein that's already in your hair so it'll help rebuild oh ah. okay okay that's some good information to have that's why that's uh why the uh um asian culture yep. use. yeah okay some asians know the vibe okay yeah <laughs> they do <laughs> okay <laughs> I'm definitely spray more. Oh, for spray more on the edges, Jim. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so I just want to have. Oh, we actually, it don't feel bad. Yeah, mine feel kind of coarse and hard, but then I have natural hair. You know what I'm saying? You got some. Well, don't be hating on my relaxer. It could be that is the reason why it could be your hair is nappy and my hair is not. Okay, <laughs> I won't say that. <laughs> Um, okay, so uh, we just rinsed the rice water out, mm -hmm. and Mimi is about to put the um, excuse you, Rudy, mm -hmm. castor oil mm. on my scalp. And we didn't have a little what's that thing called tube thing to squeeze it out of? Um, the dropper, like mm -hmm. a dropper, because I have a bottle, one. a bottle to put it in. Oh, okay. Cause so, I have a bottle of aloe vera and it has a drop. We just um go on part pour and it. pour it, put it on the put it on the scalp and just kind of rub it in. Yeah, um, so yeah, y'all see I'm so, gonna get started. Baby, the edge is gone. There is no edge.
All right, y'all, so I just finished my mom's hair. Doing my mom's hair. I forgot to record it. So we're about to sit under the dryer along with my pile of laundry. Don't judge me. Um, I got that blow dryer from Amazon as well as this other like hooded type of blow dryer. So basically, hopefully y'all can hear me. <laughs> So we're kind of doing like a hot oil deep conditioning treatment. So we're gonna sit under here for like 30, 45 minutes. Um, Parker's likely gonna wake up. She's in her bed taking a nap, in her bassinet taking a nap, but um, we're gonna listen out for her. But yeah. Here goes nothing. Get out. It don't feel. It don't feel dry, but it don't feel lush and luxurious. Well, we gotta work towards that. Mm -hmm. This hair on my head. She don't want me to worry about this hair falling out my head. <laughs> but I'm well, worried. Look at all this hair you got on your head coming out one by one. Push, <laughs> push straight that Where's your even condition? Yeah. Okay, so we are putting this leave-in conditioner, my L, over here. Now this make your hair feel soft. I don't. <laughs> Girl, maybe I'm just struggling. Just cut it off. Just want to fade again. No. <laughs> Maybe I'm not no. Yet. It takes work. It's not too much work, too. It takes work. You got this kind of work. This work. It'll work. Uh, don't pay for the I look crazy. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to comb my hair out. Put a little oil on my scalp. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do my hair tomorrow when I have more time. It is seven o'clock, past seven o'clock, and my mom has to be ready at five. And Parker, it's time for her to wake up. She has been asleep this entire time. Like she went to work today, but I kept breaking her nap when we left the gym, and then she stayed up for a while after we left the gym. Blah 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 blah. Okay, so the real test. My hair is just nappy. This is what it is. Okay, I am done detangling my hair. I have no idea what I'm about to do to it. I don't want to blow dry because I don't want to put heat on it. I really wish I could wrap it, but it's too thick. <laughs> and I look like Frederick Douglass. <laughs> See help. All right, y'all, so I just decided to go with some straight back braids some blonde tips um 
yeah this was just quick and easy yes i did do it myself i've been doing my own hair since i was 10. but yeah if you like this video and want to see more like it please give it a thumb up thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh this video was a special request by someone in the comments i was gonna do um this treatment on my hair anyway but since someone asked what do you do to your hair i'm just starting to do this to my hair so hopefully we can see the progression together to get a uh, team edge scrum back so yeah like, subscribe, comment, and see you in the next video. Mwah.